you're saying the last prayer, but let's have a look at their lineup. And they're very similar, I suppose, the one uh, change is uh, Miller, sorry, is uh, Miller coming in for Thomas, but let's go through it. Morris, Francois, Rose, Harewood, Bob, Thomas, Dunbar, Wilson Wright, the Danger Man, Fraser, Crovado, and Miller. So Miller has come in and f for Ford, and um, Thomas uh, is not in the team either. Uh, Dunbar, uh, Thomas has come in for him, but let's look at the formation, Brent. Well, Tom, that means that Thomas now sits in the middle of the park, which allow the normal midfielder, Crovado, goes up top as a focal point. Wilson Wright will be asked to play right in behind him. And let's have a look at the presentation lineup. As uh, keep saying how they don't concede much at the back. And that man in, in goal, Lazarus, the skipper, he's a fine young keeper. There's Young, Cooper, Clement Jones, and then Brathwaite, Pemberton, Elliot, Barclay, Fonset, and Brathwaite. Of course, there are two, the two Brathwaites, the, the brothers. There is uh, Malik and Micah Brathwaite. Let's, let's look at the formation. Well, Barkley would, would be expected to break lines and join Clement up front or sometimes get even ahead of him. The, the, the guile and trickery of Brathwaite and Elliot out wide would be necessary for presentation to unlock this in Anthony's College. If the final score here in the Coca-Cola Intercall Boys National Final. Presentation College nil. St. Anthony's College nil. So let's have a quick look at the highlights. Started in the first half with presentation uh, going at the, the St. Anthony's team. But then a shot there from Francois. And Wilson Wright had his shot, but well saved by Lazarus. Wilson Wright in the thick of things. Sent the ball across to Provador, who was trying to find Miller. Great tackle coming in from Young. He put Miller off. But here was Miller again. That too close to the keeper. Provado getting to that byline, but a good challenge from uh, Pemberton. The corner came in. Look at the bodies covering that goal for presentation. They kept behind the ball so quickly when they don't have possession. Then the shot from Brathwaite, not a good one. So that was the end of the first half, second half action. Shot coming there from Wilson Wright. Then another one going over the bar, just couldn't keep it below. And there is the tackle from Brathwaite. And the referee Soba has indicated it was a penalty. The penalty was taken by Fraser, but that man Lazarus in goal for uh, presentation was diving to his right pushed it away and then right after that another glorious chance this time falling to presentation Vaughan Clement had that opportunity and the goalkeeper came up big and then Wilson Wright with the shot that went just wide and uh, the teams could not be separated at the interval uh, sorry at the end of the game it ended goalless between these two teams presentation college and St. Anthony's College. Uh, so we don't know. Just wait for kicks from the penalty marks. The team saying their final prayers. I think when you look back at uh, the highlights of the game, certainly the better opportunities came to St. Anthony's College. As we look at the stats, Presentation College with three shots, none on target. St. Anthony's having seven shots, two of those on target. Eight fouls in total, seven for Presentation College, one for St. Anthony's. One card in the game, and it was a yellow one shown to a Presentation College player. Levi Jones. Levi Jones, to be precise. Two offsides, one for two for Presentation College, zero for St. Anthony's College. Twelve corners split right down the middle, six apiece for Presentation College and St. Anthony's College. Two save for Presentation College and Lazarus. And 46% possession for Presentation College and 54 for St. Anthony's College. A lot of that 54 came in the second half. But the main scoreline is the one on top. Presentation College nil, St. Anthony's College nil in a game that saw both teams uh, in a seesaw battle. Not a lot of clear-cut opportunities. Well, Lazarus have had two close goals so far, Colin, in uh, his anticipation and saving a penalty. Is this third time lucky for Lazarus? Well, it's Dunbar. 
Let's see what he can do. Dunba against Lazarus. He stutter stops. I don't think oh, he, he could stutter. I don't think he could stutter that's that it. long. That's it. Presentation College have won it the difficult way. Yeah, they have. And that man in goal, Kenya Lazarus, we talked about him. He's made the difference here today. He and saved three penalties, but one in normal time and two in regulation time. Well, the last one missed, but yeah. he was the difference, wasn't he? Well, the stutter step, I'm not sure about, but Lazarus was on the corner. He stopped, it, he stopped his progress in running and should be told, Colin, maybe that kick should have been retaken because it's certainly not a regulation kick. Nevertheless, that man there being hugged, Lazarus, is the man. And take nothing away from St. Anthony's College, because oh. they have been exceptional throughout this tournament. They have been. They're very, very unfortunate and to that, lose this way. And that young man, Wilson Wright, you feel for him because he's been really a tremendous player for them throughout this tournament. And you, you're looking at uh, the scenes here. Both teams had chances, but uh, let's go down to Lou. Uh, he has the man of the match with him, and who else that can be? Uh, Lou, tell us. Absolutely, Colin. None other than Kanye Lazarus. Not only did he win the degree man of the match, but also the finals MVP. Kanye, you have two free hands, so take your two free trophies. Absolutely. And um, how are you feeling right now? I'm really, really happy right now. I mean, credit to St. Anthony's for giving us a really, really intense game, but of course, prayers are on top. Nice, and you saved a penalty during the game to keep your team in the match. I mean, what was going through your mind at that point in time? Um, I actually know I was going to save it because I make sure I did my homework. I went and analyzed the team. I saw when they took penalties and he was one of them and I took it on and I knew where he was going. So I, I knew I was going to save it. Yeah, that's great. And finally, when the penalty was called, it was a bit of a controversial one. You rallied the troops as a captain. You kept them calm. How important was that? I mean, it's important. You have to make sure that your players don't get in any, any, any back and all there because... Cards could share, and, and there's no way I want in a final. So I'm just there to, to make sure they, they are good. Absolutely, Kanye, and you deserve it all. Congrats, yes. Brent Sanchez, with the coaches. Coach, you must be very, very proud of your players and what they've uh, put forward here this afternoon. Your assessment of the game. Uh, what I will do, um, compliment the boys on the hard work they did today. You know, the destiny was in their hands, that they just give it away. And this is what a part of football, but we have to face it. Well, in the first half, Presentation College had the, the better of the exchanges, but you turned things around in the second half, and arguably you created enough chances to probably win a football game. What did you say to your charges at halftime? Well, I influenced them to, to, to go at them a little more, be more composed and confident, and we will get it. But unfortunately, it didn't play for us. It's a cruel way to, to lose a final. What do you have to say to the team after such a, a brilliant effort? Pardon me? It's a cruel way to lose a finals. What do you have to say to your team after losing a game well, like this? I mean, the boys did very, did us proud, did, did the school very proud. So we thankful for the hard work they did. Thank you very much, Coach. All the best. You're welcome. Of course, uh, Coach Cooper here joined uh, by son. Coach, we talked a lot about uh, bringing it back here on the big stage. You, you mentioned 2019, and of course, you're now here. Victorious after penalty shootout. Your thoughts? Man, this is the proudest moment of my life. Yeah? I told you 2007, I dedicated the national intercall for him when I won it with, with Naparima. And today, today, God is good that he's here and he won it. Yeah, so not much coaches could say they have two sons that won the national intercall. Shakim also won it. So I'm so proud, I'm elated, I'm elated with the boys. Kanye, big, big, big times. So I'm very proud. Well, I'll talk to Cooper Jr. now. I'm very sure coming down to the car, coming down to this game, 
I'm sure your dad was in the air for a lot of, uh, of course, building up to this finals. Your thoughts and, of course, the coach's influence and his influence in your life as it relates to winning this final. Well, I would just like to talk to my father because he made a big impact and he told me I, I trained for big days like this and I executed there today. Coach, winning this, you said it's the best day of your life in football. Winning this and being able to put forward this sort of performance. Tell us what you thought was the difference in this game for Presentation College. Well, we are made of steel. I told you that we are one of the stingiest defense in the league. We, not a goal in full time has been scored on Presentation College. And we are built for this. The boys dug deep. I think take nothing away from, from St. Anthony's. They brought their game today. They brought their A game. And we, we stood up. We stood up. And then penalties, we have, been, we have been successful with penalties. You know this. So um, I'm just glad. I'm just glad. Well, Cooper, by two, you guys are the national intercal finalists, or winners, sorry, Coca-Cola winners. Go on and celebrate with the rest of your team. Well deserved. Go uh, at the dinner table, yeah. at the breakfast table, at the lunch table, and it's probably talking football 24 yeah. or 7. Uh, telling you everything you did wrong. I was about to say that. Especially if you miss it. You're, you're now looking at a lovely, juicy, sweet piece of chicken. And he says, that clearance you made was the worst. You know what I, mean? I, I mean, it's really, really difficult for him. And, and it's really a great story. Well, that, uh, great stories were made today. They have walked through the jungle and today they are the Coca-Cola Intercall Champions of 2023. They are the Lions of Presentation San Fernando. The winners taking the trophy down south, snatching it away from St. Anthony's College. Once again, Presentation College San Fernando, your Coca-Cola Intercall Champions for 2023. And this is where we wrap up the broadcast for tonight. We want to say thank you to each and every one of you for viewing on behalf of the entire Sportsmax team. We say thank you for being part of the Coca-Cola Intercall action here on Sportsmax and CCN TV6. And you know... We, oh, we talked about the fact that uh, they were not expected to be here. No, and not. you can see it there on the stage. And, and you know, again, Brent, we talked about, about how difficult the South Zone is to get out of the South Zone. Yeah. You, have to, you have to go through St. Benedict's, you have to go through uh, Naparima. And, um, you know, it's almost like, uh, you, 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 you know, you, 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 you feel mm -hmm. you've done everything. And then all of a sudden, you now get into the Nationals. Yeah. Well, well, Cooper of course mentioned in his interview before the Naparima College game that he basically has two finals to play. Yeah. One being Naparima College, yeah. the second one being St. Benedict. And that's just being in the South too. Exactly. And uh, remarkably if not, he came out of both on skate and then he had to go up against an Arima North Secondary School that uh, is as probably as stingy as he is defensively. <laughs> so if you talk about uh, doing it the hard way, that in the picture there is an example for that. Well, we have more action for you as we close off the Coca-Cola Intercall. We get ready for TTPFL action. We get ready for Tiger Tanks Club Sando going up against Eagles FC. Look out for that one at the Manny Ramjohn Stadium tomorrow. Big action continues here live on Sportsmax. On behalf of the entire Sportsmax team, thank you for watching as we congratulate Presentation College once again on being Coca-Cola Intercall champions and Pleasantville Secondary School for taking the girls' title of the Coca-Cola Intercall. We leave you with some beautiful moments of today's matches.